The brand catalog manager is a new tool or UI section of Seller Central where you can learn something new about your products. So on the screen here, it defaults to loading these products by the most potential opportunity. I'm going to walk you through how you might be able to gather some insight or use this. My name is Stephen Pope, and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. So one of the first things it, it loads on the top here is a, a monogram wine glass. Now, I've discontinued this product. I, I found that the demand for this was utterly low. All of the products that are currently in stock here have been at Amazon since basically December over 10 months ago. So all the all the letters nobody wants anymore um, are, are remaining here. And I've thought about liquidating it, but haven't got around to it. So on the brand catalog manager, it's point, pointing out the fact that 12 of these are inactive. Um, and it talks about, you know, the average reviews and apparently 11% of these were critical in nature, probably using a negative word. And that's how they're calculating that. And then, uh, well, I got, actually it looks like they're just doing a one to three star rating there it seems. And then potential opportunity right there to the right, $4,700. So it gives you a button to activate the offer. And of course, you just need to ship it back in, right? Simple. Uh, here's the thing. Obviously, if you've discontinued an item, you're not going to come back and redo it unless you're retail arbiting it and you're looking for past opportunities. But most of my channel videos are about uh, brand building, private label, and your own brands that you're trying to get building. So I have a, a pretty in-depth catalog because I sell a gift-giving wine glass brand called Momster. And so a bunch of things that I've previously discontinued or aren't, aren't doing as well with shows various different things. So five of my products on this 21 product listing are inactive. And so it equates that to, you know, $4,500. So, so as you scroll through here, you can sort it by different things. Another nice thing is you can see how many sellers are on the listing. So if you're ever worried that somebody's hijacked your listings and you're not using like Helium 10 for hijacker alerts, this is just another layer of security where you could come in and check this. Now, um, you can sort this. So here we go. We got two sellers of this one. So do we have a hijacker here? Let's find out. We do. We've got Prime Store hijacking my listing. This is the first time I became aware of it. And uh, they've got three ratings on their store 33% positive rating. So you know these guys are probably scumbags. We're going to report them and try and get those hijackers off. So that's a little nice value add there to find out, okay, one-click button, do I have a hijacker? Oh, I did. Right there, bingo. And you can also see if other products are inactive. Um, easy way to see, like, how many reviews you have total. There are tools out there like io bagels.io, which can export all of your reviews. I think other tools like Helium 10 and Jungle Scout can do that nowadays as well, um, but although I haven't used them. So you can kind of scroll through and just look at all the variations, the retail offer, brand offer, um, what's going on with it, how many sellers, and just a bunch of information. You can also click on some additional buttons and select, okay, I've got beauty, boom. Two products in beauty there. Um, oh, I want to go over to kitchen. Okay, almost all my items are in kitchen versus, uh, you know, let's go over to home now. So you can see there's also drop downs for brands. You got Age of Sage there versus my Momster brands. Age of Sage is my new brand where I've got some new items. Like I've got some new soaps I've launched, which are pretty cool. Had really good success with those launching out of the gate. My masculine version is doing even better than my fruity, uh, which is really kind of fun to see. Uh, we've also launched, you know, this new spa set. We did $144,000 with this in the first three weeks, launching it during Mother's Day. Obviously, it's in the off season for this, but during Christmas, this thing's going to go big. Uh, and we also launched some really cool smudge sticks. Uh, and we're the number one new release in incense, which is cool. Uh, looks like we just got our first product review. Let's see. Uh, could not find Sage much for this price when I tried. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll take it. I'll take any review I can get, I guess. Uh, and we've got packs of three, six, 12, and 100, uh, all, all uh, off to the races with that, which is great. So uh, it's just kind of a nice way to kind of see what's going on in your account as your inventory pages get messier in the back end of managed inventory. Uh, a nice view like this where you can filter and check out different categories and go to different brand offers and what's inactive versus active. All in five minutes, you can get a pretty good high-level view of what's going on your account. For more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and check out our other inventory catalog videos like the ones you see on the screen.